Hi, I'm Ryan Parks, and you're watching my tutorial series about how to creatively use your Mesa guitar in Ableton Live. In this video, I'm going to be covering the guitar's scene feature and how it can be used to switch synths during your performance. It's fairly simple to set up, and incorporating this little trick will give you a lot more sound variety while you play. So first, we'll need to enable the scene feature in your guitar. It may already be enabled, but it's definitely worth double-checking. Go to Settings, Advanced, System. Make sure that the scene's 24 fret is clicked. Now if you haven't already, feel free to load up my guitar presets included in the links down below. In this setup, each guitar preset will be operating on a totally separate MIDI channel. This way you can route your MIDI signal to a different track in live when you change presets. Next we'll need to load your presets into your scenes. Load up your first preset, then go to scenes, and I'm going to save mine on the first scene here. Repeat for the next five scenes. In the Ableton preset I included, I have set up six different tracks. If you're building your own, be sure to check your routing. For each I have MIDI from all ins and then I have set a specific channel, 1 through 6. You can enable 6 scenes on the guitar fret, so I have enabled 6 tracks. If you wish to incorporate the MIDI scale plugins I went over in my last video, note that you have to make a separate plugin for each track. So let's just check that each track responds to switching scenes. First we'll do channel 1, then we'll do channel 2, channel 3, Channel 4, Channel 5, and Channel 6. This video has helped open your eyes to some of the uses of setting up different MIDI channels. Subscribe to my channel for updates on my newest videos. Feel free to post any projects or setups you've been working on and have fun.